Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jaden Jenis, and today we are going to be talking about the best automotive photography lens. So a lot of people like me are into car photography and they don't know what lens to buy. And if you were like me, you were running a crop sensor camera. Go ahead and hate me for this, but you were running a tiny crop sensor camera. This is my Canon SL2. I still love this thing today. And I finally had the chance to switch to a full frame, but the problem was I had no lens to get, so I couldn't take any good photos for my automotive photography career. After doing so much research, I finally discovered the perfect lens for it. At least for now and for you, this will definitely be the perfect lens and it is the Canon 24 to 105 F4. I know, I know, you already wanna click away because you heard F4, but stop, wait, let me try to convince you. So first, you're probably thinking that red ring around it. I can't afford that red ring. You can, you believe me, you can afford this L lens. This is probably one of the most nicest and affordable L lenses that you can buy to date. And I'm gonna show you why. So first let's talk about the F4. If you're shooting ridiculously wide at 24 mil, you're probably shooting landscapes. And which F4 would be perfect for that because F4 is sharp. It just is, you can't deny it. Higher apertures, I guess higher number wise, higher apertures are just sharper. And if you're shooting at 33 or 35 to around 75, this lens is absolutely perfect for car photography. And even past 75, it's essential because it's essentially a telephoto. So because it's kind of like a telephoto lens, your compression, your sharpness is just Oomph. So F4, aside from your low light, is absolutely perfect. I mean, take some examples from some car photos I've taken. It looks really clean. It looks professional. Speaking about the build quality of this lens, it is a metal plate, uh, as all len L lenses would be. I said all L, I said all L lenses. It is a metal plate as all L lenses would be. So the build quality is easily a 10 out of 10 for this lens. They're pro line, they're obviously gonna build this to perfection. So here's some sick features about the lens that I didn't even realize it came with until I actually got it. So one, it has macro. This is something that I didn't really expect out of this. I mean, I kind of did, but I really didn't. If I move the focus layer, you can see right there, macro. So yeah, it actually has a really short focusing distance and it can shoot macro, which is absolutely awesome, especially if you like detail shots like I do of cars, like those small precision detail shots. Another thing it's got is stabilization. So uh, if, you're if you're shooting video, and really I guess photos too, uh, it has stabilization in it, which is stupid useful. So I'm currently filming this on a Tamron 17 to 35 f 2.8 to f4. This is at f4 right now, so you can see f4 on a full frame actually isn't bad. It's pretty much f 2.8. And what I would consider f 2.8 on a full frame is around f 1.8. And so I'm gonna switch to this lens now and let me know if you guys see a difference. There might not really be a difference because I'm gonna color grade and to match it, but you know. And so this is the Canon 24 to 105. From what I can tell, it feels like a little bit warmer, but then also I have a UV filter on it in which I didn't on here. So I guess maybe it's not fair if the UV filter would even make a difference that much. Or this is the Canon 24 to 105. 105. 105 is absolutely perfect for almost everything, especially telephoto, it's just great. So after watching this, you're probably wondering, you got an L lens, you're talking about it's great, even though it's F4, even though it's F4, how much did you get it for? I paid 350 bucks for this. You guys should know I used to film actually my all my old videos with that 14 mil on my SL2, but I sold those, I sold them for $240, and I spent an extra uh, 110 or so 
to get this. So altogether, it was $350 and this thing was brand new. It's great. So what I suggest to find this lens yourselves and to possibly get it for less than $500 is to go to Facebook Marketplace or offer up those places are perfect and just offer $350 and just offer $350 less or more and see what you can get. The worst they can say is no anyway, so I mean, and I know that you don't wanna hear no, but the worst they can say is no. But anyways, that's it for this quick review of this lens. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and uh, this new kind of photography centered thing around the channel. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe because we are totally, we're changing everything about this channel. This is all going to be photography and video stuff now. Yeah, I'll vlog every once in a while, but yeah. Anyways, make sure to comment what kind of photography videos or tutorials or just whatever you want uh, because that helps me a lot because I don't, I don't have a big fan base. So if you comment a suggestion, I'm 99% going to do it. So do it <laughs> so yeah that's all i got for you guys today in this video hope you all enjoyed make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one